Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Reverse Hive Mind. I'm, re I'm your boy, uh, S Sutherland. And today, we are back with some more Lost Judgment. Uh, we're going to make our way from the wet kitchen here. A burger place in Eugene Show. And we're going to head on over to a, uh, a flashpoint for all these UFO sightings. See if we can get a picture of said flying saucer. So we are going to continue to ignore Asawa Sensei for just a minute here. And we'll try to reunite the person with their dropped item. And this looks like it. Excuse me. Excuse me, I think you dropped this. Arigato. What? My purse? How kind of you. This is incredible. And a bronze plate. Cool. So we'll stop by the pawn shop later. Um, we're going to have to fight a couple thugs, but that's okay. I see a bunch of bicycles. Great. So, in pure Yakuza tradition. We'll just go ahead and body slam a dude with a bicycle. Really, guys? Uh, remember, the main characters in Yakuza never killed a man. Might have maimed them horribly with a bicycle, but never killed a man. Yeah, I wouldn't be too happy if some dude with a gigantic neon sign was started beating the crap out of me too. What a waste. Anyway, uh, off we go. So we'll run on over to where this other UFO sighting is. Okay, the alcohol's cleared up and, oh look at that, now I can ride in a straight line with Yagami. Funny how that works. Anyway, I don't feel like fighting like for the 50th time, so... I'll just run this away. And I can hear the UFO probing around up here. And apparently I'm still going to have to fight some dude. Get out of here. Let's play fight. That was a waste. Really, guys? Anyway, I got a UFO to, to photograph. So let's look around, see if we can find it. Oh, there it is. Focus on it first. Yeah. Suspicious. Okay, so I'm sure this is gonna be a giant pain in the butt. Okay, what It should come back over here. Now. Okay, I think I got it. Perfect. So that looks like a drone to me. Nice. Couldn't have gotten a better shot. Hmm. Is this real though? It should be something if it was, but but it seems like it might be phony. Um Hmm? Hmm? Oh, you're you're in the SRC, right? Yes. Tokioka. Senpai seems to have asked you to do something for him about UFOs. I figured I might run into you here. Oh. Is something wrong? Well, there's something I wanted to tell you about Yab Yabuki Senpai. Actually, about his father. 
What about him? Well, it's... Yagubi, Yabuki Senpai seems to believe he was abducted, but I think there's another reason he's missing. What, do you owe money to somebody? or What would that be? You see, my uncle's a detective too. Yabuki Senpai's mother hired him once to find out if her husband was being unfaithful. She thought her husband was cheating on her. Yes. And it turns out he really was. Oh, so he had another family or life. Senpai's parents were about to enter some pretty nasty divorce proceedings when his father went missing. What with all the publishing royalties and TV appearance fees, she was planning to clean him out before she was through with him. Hmm. I see. This was at the height of the UFO commotion here in Ichincho, just days before the disappearance. I'm pretty sure he just ran off with whoever he was cheating with, but Yabuki Senpai, he's convinced himself his dad was abducted by aliens. I see. That's rough. Even worse, I think his father lied to him about making first contact to set up an easy out for when he ran off. So long as he stayed hidden well enough, the people he left behind might always wonder if he was actually abducted. Wow, so his dad's a grade A piece of garbage. Huh. That's pretty out there, but if it's Yabuki kun we're talking about, I guess we can chalk that up to the apple not falling far from the tree. Right? So, what is it you want to see happen instead? I want Senpai to face reality. At this rate, he might go from UFO enthusiast to full-on whack job. Yeah, he's kind of almost there already. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. But Yagami-san, if you take pictures of UFOs for him, and they end up being authentic, who knows how deep down the rabbit hole it would go to find his father. I definitely understand where you're coming from. But if we want to do him some good, shouldn't I keep taking pictures? Huh? Why's that? Well, I'm not just one to let a mystery go unanswered, especially when someone's well-being is on the line. I don't personally believe I'm getting pictured UFOs. Common sense even dictates it's highly unlikely that's what these are. But if I keep taking pictures of them, I think we'll be able to debunk them as fake eventually. <laughs> Once I've found clear enough evidence that these UFOs are phony, we might be able to snap Yobuki Kun out of it. I see, that's a good point. Not only that, I already accepted his case. I've got a job to do as a detective. He doesn't just know how much it's going to help him. Oh, great. Yes, please keep it up. Yeah. Will do. But, uh. What if that UFO actually was a real spaceship? Um, I guess the entire world would change as we know it. I really hope that doesn't happen. Okay. So, they want us to keep trying to get more UFO pictures. Wonder if I can find more posts online. So, back to uh, Buzz Researcher we go. UFO again. It's a drone. The more you know, Serio High has a secret underground UFO base. The UFO flew out from underneath Serio High. Keeping a UFO locked up under Serio High would explain a lot. Underground base? Who's cooking this stuff up? Guess I'll go check it out for myself anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, I have a feeling it's some kids flying a drone, but. It's like they say, the more you know. As I run into the back of a tr pickup truck. I can't even blame it on drunk Yagami. He's sober as a judge. Well, I suppose that would depend on the judge. I, I jest, of course. All right. So we need to go to the courtyard, apparently. Or the basement. So we'll go out to the courtyard. 
knock over some tables because reasons. Okay. You think it's really going to show? I know it will. Wonder what they're up to. I'll walk over and talk to them apparently. Hey. Hey, are you here looking for the UFO too? Yeah, people online are saying UFO is hiding underneath the school. <sighs> Gotta say, not the most believable rumor I've heard about Serio. But there have been tons of rumors around school lately. One student even saw the UFO exit the building. Oh. Wow. Well, we're gonna head up to the roof now. Don't want to miss it. Word of UFOs is going around Serio too. Wonder why. Yagami-san. Yagami-san. Oh, it's Amasawa. And Yabuki. Amasawa, Yabuki, what's up? Yabuki Hoon invited me to witness the UFO at the school. He said one should be appearing tonight. If I need any more proof. I figured if Amasawa Senpai saw one up close, she'd finally admit the existence of aliens. <sighs> really? What did I say last time? Bright lights are not proof of extraterrestrial life. Oh, these aren't just some lights around the school. These are rumors of an actual spacecraft. A genuine flying saucer, unexplainably flying in the sky. Mm. Mm, I don't think that's possible. Seriously? With the infinite expanse of space still unexplored, you don't think a civilization with more, more advanced than ours could exist? I mean, that is a possibility, but all, you know, all things are possible. Who knows what their advanced technology would be capable of? Why, why would it be unimaginable that they might try to contact us at some point? I mean, that's assuming that if you have a mass of space like that, that they would even know where you are. I mean, just the, the number of habitable planets is fairly small compared to the rest of space, so they'd have to find us before they could even contact us anyway but I mean I suppose if they have more advanced technology then that would be easier for them but still if that's the case why haven't they done it already that's an excellent point you're saying there's a high probability of meeting other life forms in our uniforms universe but that we just haven't done it yet that's my argument is that the universe is so massive that we could have two very highly technologically advanced societies and they'd still miss each other just because of the sheer size. Right. It's so weird, isn't it? This is known as the Fermi Paradox. Few works of speculative fiction have determined potential solutions to it, but even still, the odds of extraterrestrial... Ah. Okay, that's enough bickering. For now, anyway. Don't want to miss any UFOs up there, do we? Oh, yeah. Right. We'll have a better view from the roof. A couple kids already went up there to watch, actually. So we'll head up to the roof. Is it really going to show, though? Shut up and keep a lookout. If we get a picture of it, we can sell it to a magazine for some serious cash. Oh. Seems like there are quite a few potential believers at Serio. Oh yeah, UFOs are being back to the talk of the town. There's a sucker born every minute. Yeah, I'm, off, I'm with Amasawa on this one. I think everybody's gathering for a drone. Let's at least wait and see if anything shows before we call people suckers, shall we? Oh, I hear it already. There it is. Q X Files music. Ah. Uh, guys, is that a UFO? Huh? What? Where? I mean, that's definitely not how a plane moves. Well, you're right that it's not a plane, but. 
Oh, wow. A genuine close encounter of the first kind. Hmm? Huh? Is it just me or is it coming closer? What? What? Cool, we'll go to look at it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Fourth kind, fourth kind, it's it's an abduction. Oh crap, this is bad. Wah Wario. Wah Huh? Wait, what? Uh that's smaller than I expected. Y Yagami san. Take the picture. Huh? Oh, right. Take the damn picture. Let me acquire it. Oh, there it is. Okay, seriously? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure I get the in-focus box, but it's... Okay, I think I got it now. It's just being very picky. No. Yeah, yeah. Cut it again. Okay, seriously, the in-focus is pissing me off. God. Okay, seriously? I'm starting to get really annoyed with this garbage. Maybe I need to get closer? I don't freaking know. Seriously, that's all I need to do. I just need to walk a little bit closer. Okay, that kind of pisses me off. But hey, it, it worked. So we can move on from this awful quest. Uh, perfect.
Honestly, it wasn't that bad. It was just a little bit picky. Ha! There we go. Perfect. The craft. It looks exactly the same as the one from two years ago. Although, it does seem a bit small. But it might still be the same one that came for my father back then. That can't be. Hmm? Hey, over there. Ah! Where's it going? Yagami san, huh? go after it. Do what? If they're not going to make first contact with us, we'll just have to make it with them. Gotcha. Uh, right, got it. Foot chase? Maybe? I don't know. Looks like I'm the UFO catcher now. Don't tell me I have a foot chase. Yep. Hold up. Course. Oh, come on. Obviously, going to the right. Ah, come on. I hit triangle, but. Got him. Ah, got it. Hmm? Wait, this is like tiny. Oh, hang on. Yagami-san! Hey! If you don't pay me back for the taxi, you're gonna regret it. What? You... you caught it! The UFO? What are the... where are the aliens? Are these... are there tiny aliens or is it remote? Yabuki, this is... just a drone. Thank you, I am the greatest detective in this entire series. Thank you very much. Seriously, though, it was kind of obvious from the start. Huh? It's a drone? Yeah. Yeah. This is most assuredly man-made. Look, you can see, you can even see the propellers in it. But that's impossible. Even for a computer. Made in China. No way. <laughs> American component, Russian component, all made in Taiwan. But then my dad, hey. hey, Yabuki, do you really believe your dad was taken away by a UFO? I, um, hmm. I have to say, I think the UFO sighting two years ago was phony. 
These kind of pranks happen all the time, all over the world. And now he gets slapped with the cold hard truth. Yeah, I know, you're right. I mean, alien abductions? It's just two out there. At least he admits it. Yabuki. Believing in UFOs? How stupid was I? I even knew about Mom hiring that detective to go after Dad. That they were going to split up. What's he talking about, Yagami-san? Well, it's a bit complicated. Ooh, new music. Listen, Yabuki, I'm not saying you shouldn't believe in the supernatural. I can understand how the unknown is appealing to some people. But at the same time, isn't it important for people to accept reality as it is around them? Especially when it comes to family. It's family. Yeah, you're right. I already knew that to some degree, I guess. I guess that I have to grow up eventually. This has got to be tough for him, but just as necessary, if not more so. Yagami-san, don't quote me on this later, but even as a lover of mystery, I have to admit, sometimes the truth is painful enough to not feel worth it. <laughs> Despite my misgivings, I still feel bad for Yabuki-kun. Yeah, she's right, sometimes the truth may not be worth knowing. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. Yeah. Yeah, and after all, life would be boring if every mystery were solved. But it's still important to have the courage it takes to face the truth. Especially as you get older. Otherwise, you're not getting any wiser. Well, it's got a point there, too. The courage it takes to face the truth. Well said. Hmm? What? Hey. Wait, Tokioka-san? Um, I, uh... What are you doing here? Are you looking for something? A UFO showed up for us tonight, front and center. Even acted like it wanted us to chase it. Oh. Yeah, she, it's her drone. Uh... So, were you the pilot? Huh? What? Is he right? I'm... I'm sorry. Nah. I figured as much. You were hoping you could get Yag Yabuki to snap out of it with that, weren't you? Why? Yes, because if Senpai's eyes are always fixed to the stars, there's no chance he'll ever look at me. And the truth comes out. Just pining for the fjords. Uh, bonus points uh, for those of you old enough to understand that reference. There's no chance he'll ever look at me. Ah. Oh, Tokioka-san, don't tell me you like Yabuki. Of course she does. Come on, dude. Please don't tell Senpai. No, Senpai has to notice her on his own. <sighs> okay, now I get what's been going on. <laughs> <laughs> Yabuki kun's obsession with the supernatural mystery put him smack dab in the middle of a romantic one. Sure did. Now the question is, does Tokioka-san have the courage to admit her feelings to him? Wow, that pop in. Like how that lady just disappeared. Huh, <laughs> guess we'll have to see if they end up making first contact or not. What? Hmm? Huh? What is it? Hmm. Oh, for a second I thought I sensed a... It must have just been my imagination. Right. Well, I think I'm going to head home now. <laughs> Too spooky. Well... That was uh, an interesting side case, worth a few chuckles and a little bit of sadness. 
Um, but not at all where I thought it would go. Anyway, um, I think we'll head over to Plage and uh, wrap this video up. So we'll go ahead and Marty McFly our way down there. Cruise right through the middle of the roadway here. Yeah, that was definitely an interesting side case, and true to uh, to uh, Yakuza form, uh, a lot of the side cases can be just as uh, engrossing as the as the main story, and oftentimes they can be a bit more zany, off the wall, and kind of fun. Uh, so anyway, we're at, we're at Plodge, so we're going to meet up in Sawa, with Sawa Sensei in the next video. Uh, so, for now, um, take care, and we'll catch you next time. Please like and subscribe, and remember, the truth is out there. Have a good one, y'all.